morning guys uh, M0 sugar gold sugar another quick video um, this time uh, press and hold your display in take you to your menus and we're going to go around to uh, APRS um, basically I've lot of, had a lot of emails about uh, how to change the mileage kilometer setting um, right, so that it shows miles rather than kilometers so if you go to your APRS menu press the uh, display in the whole ones and then we're going to go down to APRS units like that press once and you'll see it's got position um, this might be different on yours it'll probably say uh, days days minutes 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 uh, I always have it days days minutes minutes seconds seconds and then distance uh, if I flick that around to distance you'll see you can have kilometers or miles you set it to miles uh, the speed will be shown in uh, either knots kilometers per hour or miles per hour altitude will probably be in meters uh, you can change that to feet um, barometric pressure temperature uh, you can either have it on centigrade or Fahrenheit I'll have it on Fahrenheit uh, rain you can have millimeters or inches so we'll say to inches wind speed uh, is kilometers per hour knots uh, or meters per second I like my miles per hour being in England so uh, that's how to change uh, the config on your uh, on your APRS units uh, so we'll click on there so we've done that we've changed it all to the English version uh, rather than European version Right, the next thing I'll show you again is in the APRS menu and it's what I feel is probably the most important. It'll be the uh, position. Right, you can either take your position direct from the GPS or via manually. Um, because my radio is QTH home based, uh, I don't take it in the car that much and when I do I don't have it on APRS on. Because I don't want everybody to track where I'm going <laughs> or when I'm out of the house uh, I've set it to manual uh, if you want it to track the radio wherever it goes uh, set it to GPS and uh, make sure your APRS is on so it, uh, it gives a ping as to where your radio is so I'm ha quite happy with it on manual because it's a QTH based one so to set your actual position and this is where I bring a bit of safety in um, <coughs> you put your manual position in now you can't do this unless you've got an SD card in if you have no SD card obviously it's got nowhere to save the information that you program into it so you'd have to get yourself an SD card format it and put it in or put it in a format as the radio gives you that option as well if you see the last two digits here um, 47 and 33 on the latitude and longitude I've actually changed mine um, away from my actual location. Uh, the reason for this is I found that it's a very, very good GPS system. And uh, when I went into, when I was tracking myself, um, uh, I'll set it up on the GPS, and I went into Google Street View. It actually showed my house <laughs> and my antenna, etc. So the last two digits on the end here, I've uh, I've offset so it doesn't show my house or location. Uh, that's just for safety uh, and safety of the shack and the equipment uh, so you might want to do that if you're a QTH based system just change the last two digits of the longitude and latitude to within sort of like 500 yards to a mile away uh, from your house position it doesn't really matter um, when you transmit in data mode it gives out your position based on the uh, on the, this data that you put in here uh, to the opposing party that you're in queue so with and vice versa um, but I mean we're talking a couple of hundred yards maybe just so it shows somebody else's house and not yours uh, so that's a quick uh, set up a video on how to do the uh, manual positioning um, on the uh, APRS um, and uh, how to change from kilometres to miles per hour 
Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good time programming your radio. This is M0 Sugar Gold Sugar Stewart, Pubsy and Leeds. Thank you very much for watching and I have a good day.